What's going on, everybody? Well, yeah, I've made a whole lot of videos lately. Actually, I, I've made videos. I just haven't done any editing because that like takes forever, and I'm out having fun and building stuff instead. Um, but I have, I will get to editing some videos, and I've got a bunch of videos on this car here. But I have to edit them and do all that crap. And hi, Sammy. Yeah, say hello to everybody, Sam. But uh, I just thought I'd introduce you guys to this new car right here. This is my new baby. Yeah, huh? You like it too, Sam, huh? But uh, yeah, this is actually a really cool car. This is a B5 Blue. It uh, had a white, it had a white stripe and it had blue interior. But the guy I got the car from, he put all new interior in it and he converted it to black. So I'm like, eh. I'd rather have the blue interior. But it is all new, so maybe I'll just end up taking the interior out of this thing and then replacing it with blue and taking the black interior and putting it in a different car. But anyways, uh, like I said, real RT. So we'll start from the beginning because it has a lot of cool options. Um, so it has the 440 automatic. You saw the console, I'm sure. Uh, go back inside here. 440 automatic console. Um, Wood grain wheel. This actually is a factory tack car, and the, and the tack still works. I can rotate this around. So, yep, factory tack. Um, and you probably saw these weird looking uh, doohickeys right here, which we're at yeah, right there. This is an original power window car, um, and they still work. So, pretty cool. Um, I never really wanted power windows before. You know, old school, I, it's just more weight, and I'm like, oh, I don't need that crap. But then, after having power windows, um, you know, pulling up next to a buddy or just somebody on the side of the road that just wants to holler at you. You know, it's easy. Just go, brrr, and the window goes down. Instead of having to reach over the seats and crank the damn window down. So actually, it's kind of cool now. I'm actually liking it. Um, but, uh, oh, another thing inside the car that it has to rear defrost. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a pointless option to me because it doesn't really do a whole lot. But it does have it. Um... And this was an original cruise control car. Now, cruise, cruise control is missing, but you can still see the mounting locations of where it was sitting. And I do have the fender tag for this car. It's just not on it right now. Um, I'll link a picture to the, of the fender tag on this thing. But uh, what I'm doing right now is, and I drove the shit out of this car when I first bought it. I mean, hell, I pulled out of the guy's driveway and I just matted this thing to the floor. Um, but I flew to Rochester, Minnesota, went and looked at it, bought it, and I drove from Rochester to Troy and Laura's shop, which you can see right here, has the Revenator set up, which helps this car a lot. Um, plus, I need a rev limiter, because <laughs> I'll probably blow this damn thing up if I didn't have one. I just, I like the sound of RPM and just matting it, wop, 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 wop. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, I got, their bill, I got the billet distributor, I got the whole Revenator set up, the coil, um, helped this car out tremendously. Um, and this car ran great. Problem is, the combination is all wrong. Uh, it's got a big choppy cam in it, which I'll link a video of how it idles. And yeah, it's got a choppy cam to it. And after pulling the intake manifold off, it does have some ported heads on it. So, and they're nicely, nicely ported heads. So, um, you got big choppy cam, ported heads, but then you got a stock intake manifold, and you got stock exhaust manifolds, and you got a stock torque converter, and you got a shitty Elbrock carburetor. So. It's just all wrong, um, so I'm going to be convert I'm switching that over to a much more better setup. Uh, I'm going to make this thing haul ass throughout its entire power band because right now this thing is like a pig out of the hole. It has a really strong mid range, but then it just kind of lays over because it's got stock manifold and stock exhaust manifold. Um, so I'll link a picture of what I'm going to be putting on this thing. It'll be like the pow right there. Two intake with the uh, new Holly Brawler carburetor, which actually is a really good carburetor. Uh, you know, I know it's just like a cheaper version of Holly, but it has all the air bleed, adjustable air bleed screws. It's got uh, glass sight bowls. I mean, it's got a lot of good stuff on it. You know, for it's 350 bucks out the door. You know, so it's a pretty good carburetor. So putting that on here, Holly Brawler, Torque or Two intake. I got some super comp headers I'll put on it, and then I'm gonna put a uh, probably like a 3,000 stall converter in it to make this bitch run. Um, 
And this car will get a paint job. It actually is a really cool car. B5 blue, white top, white stripe, blue interior. So it's going to get painted, and it's going to go back to blue interior. Um, but uh, it looks so cool with the Traeger. Um, oh, it is a light package car. You can see the. Uh, this is a. Um, you know, it has the hood mounted turn signals, which is the part of the light package, and it has the light in the trunk, and it has, um, you know, the light in the glove box, and it's all your little extra light added add-ons. Um, oh, it has the light in the key, which I love. I love the light in the key, or above the key, because you get in the car at night, shut the door, and you're like trying to find the damn keyhole, but when you have a lighted key, or when you have the light above the key, you know, it just illuminates the key uh, ignition for like a couple seconds, so you can at least boom, got it. Um, so it has that. Uh, but yeah, this is just a quick intro. I'll show you guys. This is, That car will actually, I'll have a long video on this car of us having fun with it and driving it and plowing through the field and rooster tailing in the snow out in the dirt field with, actually it was a bean field. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun. I had mechanical failures with this thing, sent a push rod through the rocker, um, uh, blew a tire, messed up a fender. Um, but yeah, of course that's probably my fault. The tires were like 20 years old. Um, anyways, just thought I'd do a quick intro to this thing and let you guys know I'm still making videos. I just haven't had a whole lot of time doing any editing and stuff. And the, uh, I just can't sit on my ass behind a computer screen and like, I'd rather be out doing shit. Um, so, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.